When I started brick making, I thought it was simple, just soil, water and fire. But, but after making over 6,000 bricks, I realized there are small mistakes that can destroy your hard work and profit. In this video, I'll share the biggest lesson I learned so you don't repeat the same costly errors. The first mistake I made was using any type of soil. Not all soil are good for brick making. Clay soil is the best, it holds shape and burns well. Sandy or loose soil cause brick to crack. This first mistake I made was using the wrong soil. I thought any soil could make a good brick. I was wrong. If your soil has too much sand, the bricks will crack or break during burning. Clay soil is what gives bricks strength and shape. The mixture of soil and water must be right. Too much water make weak bricks. Too little water make them dry during molding. Mix until the soil feels firm but not sticky. The second mistake I made was poor mixing. I didn't pay attention to how much water I was using. Too much or too little water can destroy the quality of your bricks. When the mix is too wet, your bricks lose shape. When it's too dry, it cracks from before burning and the bricks become weak. The right mix should feel firm but not sticky. When you press it, it should hold together. I used to rush drying because I wanted fast results. But bricks need enough sun dry before burning, at least 7 to 10 days. Wet bricks break easily in kiln. If bricks are not fully dry, heat from the burning makes the water inside expand, causing crack. They need proper sun drying before firing. Always dry your bricks slowly and evenly for 7 to 10 days. Turn them after a few days so all sides dry properly. Mist mistake 4. Bad arrangement in clean. How you arrange bricks during burning affect the heat flow. If they are too tight, heat doesn't spread evenly. Some overburn, others underburn. Space them properly for good airflow. I used to stack bricks too close together, thinking it will save space. Instead, it caused an uneven burning. Some bricks became too hard, others stayed weak. When bricks are packed too tight, heat can't flow evenly. The fire burns stronger in some part and weak in others. You end up losing both good bricks and firewood. Always Leave enough space between rows for heat to move freely. The fire burns evenly and I get consistent red color throughout the batch. Mistake 5. Improper burning. Burning requires patience. If you, if, you, if you use too much firewood too early, bricks may crack. If you burn too slow, they may stay weak. Learn to maintain steady, heaven heat for strong red bricks. 
In the beginning, I didn't know how to control the fire. I added too much firewood too fast and many bricks got overburned. Others stay weak inside. When you overburn bricks, they turn black and brittle. They might look strong, but they break easily during use. If fire is too, is too low or uneven, the bricks stay underburned, soft and weak. They'll absorb water fast and break over time. Mistake 6. No quality check. I didn't check my first batches. I just sold. But testing helps you to know if your bricks are strong. Try drop one from the chest height. If it's break easily, something wrong. I was too excited to sell my bricks and I didn't check if they were strong enough. Some customer later complained and I learned the hard way. Once I started testing my bricks, quality improved and so did my reputation. Strong bricks build strong trust. After learning from this mistake, my bricks got stronger and more uniform. My advice, don't rush the process. Take time to learn your soil and always test before going big. Brick making pays, but when the quality is your goal. If this video helped you, subscribe for more farming and bricks making tips. Leave a comment.